Hello there guys, it's Maxo Diddly here and today I am here with another Java tutorial to help you get that A in your practical exam. Today we're going to be here with lookup tables. So a lookup table is another way of validating data in Java. Basically you get the user input and you compare it to a list of possible values that means the input is valid. For instance, days of the week. There are only seven days of the week. And in English, they're Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If the user's asked to input a day of the week and they input duck, that wouldn't be correct. It would be invalid. And we can use a lookup table to get the duck input and compare it to each element of that table or list and say, OK, duck is not equal to any of the days of the week. So therefore, the user did not input a day of the week and therefore it's not valid. So we're going to teach you how to do that today. Well, I am. I don't know why I said we. Ah. Firstly, we're going to create an, a variable to hold the input. String input equals Monday. So the user is going to input Monday. Now we're going to create a Boolean method. Public static. I can't type. Boolean. And we're going to call it look up. And we're going to do string input. So what does this method currently do? So it's a Boolean method, we've called it lookup, and it'll take in one string, and we're gonna call it input as the local variable for this. And input will take the value of whatever this input is. And in this case, we'll take the value of Monday. So in this case, string input becomes Monday. Now we're gonna have an array, and we'll have a for loop. If you don't know how to use them, or you're not comfortable with them, Ask in the comments, I will make a video about them, but for now I'll, I'll assume you can use them because they are, I would consider, the very basics of Java. And if you don't know your very basics, then we should be panicking. You should be watching more Maxo Diddly. Anyway, I'm sure you get under, you can follow along. So we're going to do string table, square brackets, and... Oh, oh, why I go to the next line? I, I, uh, 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 Sorry about that. So we got, this is how we start declaring a, um, a, 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 an array, and we're going to predefine values in an array. So we have an equals, then we're going to have two curly brackets, and this is what we're going to do inside. We're going to literally do Monday, comma, Tuesday, comma, Wednesday, comma, Thursday, comma, Friday, comma, Saturday, comma, Sunday. So let me explain how we've basically done this. We've literally gotten a string and we put a comma. And we basically keep doing this for how many elements we want to put in this array and have predefined a value. This has um, seven elements, element zero to six. So for instance, element zero would be Monday, element one would be Tuesday and, and so forth. Now we're gonna have a Boolean, Boolean valid, equals false. We're basically going to be using this for our validation. Now we're going to do our for loop. So we're going to do for int i equals zero. i less than um, table dot length and i plus plus. Now we're actually going to type in the code before we, um, before I explain this, because I feel like it'll make it a little bit uh, easier. Why, why is that invalid? Can I see I'm legally blind? I forgot to put I++ at the end here. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you got I++, which basically adds one onto the value of I. Now we're going to have an if statement. So we're going to do if input dot equals table I valid equals true and after this we're going to do return valid this goes outside the for loop by the way and after it so this looks like a lot of code let's break it down let's do some abstraction and solve the problem like that so we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that in a second so this for loop we're going to, our loop variable, our counter as you might want to call it, is called i, and we're going to set it to zero. This loop will continue until i, 
Well, no, this loop will continue to loop until i is no longer greater than length. So basically, we do i is less than table dot length, meaning the loop will continue as long as that condition is true, as long as if i is smaller than how long this table is, which in this case is 7. So it's just as if i is less than 7. And we're doing i plus plus at the end, so after the loop's gone through once, we add on 1 to the value of i. So say if i is 2, i would become 3. If i is 5, i would become 6, and so on. Inside the loop, we've, we've got an if statement. And we're basically going to check if the input, which is basically this, which in this case takes the value of Monday. So basically saying, is Monday equal to table and then whatever element is equal to the value of i. So what do I mean? This is element 1. This is, no, this is element 0. This is element 1. This is element 2. This is element 3. This is element 4. This is element 5. And this is element 6. So we're basically saying, when we first go through the loop, is our input equal to whatever is in element 0? Because i is equal to 0. And if it is, set valid to true, as oh, we found a match. We found the input matches table the first element. If it doesn't, we just don't do anything and we go back through the loop. So we'll check if the input's equal to Tuesday. If it is, great, return true. If not, just go through the loop again and check for the next element. If you don't understand that fully, ask in the comments, because I don't know if I explained that well. But basically what we're doing is, table i is we're checking a certain element, we're checking the value of a certain element. And we're using the for loop to be able to interact with all of them. So after we've gone through this whole loop, we've checked every element, we're going to return true or false, depending on what value value takes. The reason why we set value to false at the start is, at the start of the program, we have not found a match. So by default, we're going to become, it's going to be false. And we only, it only becomes true if we find a match. And we can do that if we loop. And then we obviously return true or false. Now we're going to do our if statement to print out the result. We're going to do if look up input. We're going to have our brackets. We're going to have our else. And we're going to do j option pane pane dot show message. I can't actually type message dialog. Then we're going to do null invalid. Um, we're going to actually copy and paste this because I can. And we're just going to put change this to valid. We're going to right click to fix imports to import the Geoption Pane library. And that is all of the code. So this code is going to return true. So it's going to say valid in our Geoption Pane message. And it says valid because Monday is equal. Monday is equal to Monday. It's equal to one of the days of the week which are stored in this array. So. Now let's try if we try a different input. We're going to input duck. And this will return invalid, by the way. So it's going to say invalid on our dialog thing. Invalid. Why has it said invalid? Well, we've basically, we get the input of duck. We pass it into here. So string input becomes the form of duck. And basically, we're going to go for a loop checking if duck is equal to each day of the week, one by one. And duck isn't equal to anything in this array. Therefore, we never actually change the value of valid. Therefore, we return a false. And so if we return false, we execute this bit of code. And that's all for this tutorial, guys. Sorry if this took a long time. Look up tables I don't think you'll need for an exam, but it is nice to know if you want a bit of variety in your um, validation. And it's always uh, an extra tool at your disposal or could help you next year in your assessment, controlled assessment. But it could be useful in the exam, there could be a scenario where you actually want it, and seeing this video just equips you with another tool to use when you tackle a problem in Java. Anyway guys, thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did, and why not share my these videos with your friends, with your family, with your teachers, with everyone, to help everyone be great at Java.